hello everyone in today's lecture we go with our new chapter in the syllabus and is straight line in that we go with our first important concept here is for locus very interesting point it is so here in the locus we consider the set of the points we consider the set of the points which satisfies the some geometrical condition or conditions i repeat again here in the locus we consider the set and in that we consider the set of all the points set of all the points which satisfies the some geometrical condition or conditions okay mathematical conditions remember this thing okay let's let us see one simple example to define the uh, locus okay let us consider here c be the uh, c be any point c be any point in a plane okay uh, then uh, we consider the set of all the points we consider the set of all the points which are at a distance of five units which are at a distance of five units from this c okay so here uh, this forms the circle this forms the circle okay see here here we consider one circle here c is the center we consider one circle which is at a distance of five unit that is radius of given circle is here five units radius of this circle is five units okay so here radius is five so we have a geometrical condition for this concept and here radius is here five units this is one example let us see another one let us consider two points in a plane let a is the first one and b is the second one then we consider the set of all the points which are equidistant from these two points a and b i repeat again we consider the points a and b then we consider set of all the points which are equidistant from the points a and b okay so uh, we draw here segment ab okay here we consider the points which are equidistant that is we consider the bisector of this segment here bisector is like this okay here bisector is like this so every point on this bisector satisfy the condition of the locus okay so here we have some geometrical condition okay so here remember here in the locus we consider only set of the points so note let p be the given point on the locus p be the any point on the locus and we define this by using or we define the locus here in the set uh, p e p be the any point okay and this p satisfies the geometrical condition satisfies the geometrical condition okay so uh, we define locus here now we consider the equation of the locus we consider the equation of the locus here equation of a locus is a algebraic relation is an algebraic relation and here we consider one point and this point satisfies the equation of locus okay so here equation of locus is an algebraic relation satisfied by the coordinates x y of every point of the locus okay so this is our concept for the point locus let us see some important examples related with this part here first example is example 
first one here given if if a of 1 3 then b of 2 1 are points are points then find then find the equation of locus equation of locus of point P such that such that here P A is equal to P B. P A is equal to P B. Here P is the point on the locus and is having coordinates X and Y. So we define here let P of X Y be any point on the locus on the required locus on the required locus okay you are given two points a and b okay so, and given one relation here p a is equal to p b okay so we go with our given things here given p a is equal to p b okay now we have to find this p a and p b by using the distance formula everyone knows the distance formula okay so here uh, p coordinates for point p are here x into y that is x y and coordinate for a are here 1 3 so in the distance formula we consider the square root inside the square root uh, here x is given first coordinate of here p is x so x minus and here in the first one is given so x minus 1 square plus then your second is a y so y minus here in the a second is here 3 so this bracket square is equal to then inside the square root then in rhs again here we know coordinates of p and we know coordinates of b so i write here x minus 2 this bracket square plus y minus 1 this bracket square and using this relation we find the equation of the locus okay let us solve this part firstly we uh, square on both the sides that is we squaring on both the sides okay here i write squaring on squaring on both the sides both the sides here we get x minus 1 bracket square plus y minus 3 bracket square is equal to x minus 2 bracket square plus y minus 1 bracket square okay now we consider expansion of this x minus 1 bracket square and is here is x square minus 2x plus 1 plus then we expand this y minus 3 bracket square here is y square minus 6y plus 9 this is equal to then in RHS we expand this x minus 2 bracket square here is x square minus 4x plus 4 plus now we expand this y minus 1 bracket square that is y square minus 2y plus 1 okay now we consider here each part of rhs in lhs so here in lhs x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square okay let us see uh, first part of this lhs okay here i write this as here x square plus y square then minus 2x minus 6y then we know 1 plus 9 is 10 okay 
same here in RHS your x square plus y square minus 4x minus 2y then 4 plus 1 is 5. Now we consider each part of RHS in LHS. So here we get x square plus y square then minus 2x minus 6y plus 10 then here this x square in opposite side as y square then y square in opposite side as minus y square this minus 4x in opposite side as plus 4x then in next plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now here uh, plus x square minus x square cancelled then plus y square minus y square cancelled then here only remains okay here minus 2x plus 4x we know this is a plus 2x then here minus 6y plus 2y is what here is a minus 4y <coughs> and in last 10 minus 5 is here plus 5 is equal to 0 and this is the required equation of the locus okay here I write this is required equation of locus okay so very interesting example it is remember this example now we go with our second example in this part here in second given if if a of 2 0 and b of 0 3 are two points are two points find find the equation of locus the equation of locus of point p of point p such that such that here given a p is equal to twice p b a p is equal to twice p b here again by using the same steps uh, of first example we find equation of locus okay here again we consider point on the locus let p of x y be any point on the locus then here given one relation a p is equal a p is equal to twice p b okay so we consider or i write here given given a p is equal to twice p b again by using the distance formula uh, here i write this a p as here inside the square root okay so here we know coordinates of point a we know coordinates of point p okay so i write this as your x minus 2 bracket square plus then y minus 0 y minus 0 this bracket square is equal to here 2 into bracket similarly for pb here i write in square root okay here x minus 0 this bracket square plus y minus 3 here 3 is given so y minus 3 bracket square and this bracket is complete now squaring on both these sides okay so here i write squaring on both the sides squaring on both the sides here we get we get x minus 2 bracket square plus y minus 0 bracket square is equal to we know 2 square is 4 then inside this bracket x minus 0 bracket square plus y minus 3 bracket square this bracket is complete okay now we consider expansion of x minus 2 bracket square here is 
एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर प्लस we know y minus 0 is y and its square is y square is equal to then here for as it is then inside the bracket here again x minus 0 is x and its square is here x square plus then y minus 3 bracket square is here y square minus 6y plus 9 this bracket is complete okay let's multiply here this bracket by 4 first okay so here x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square as it is then in rhs we get 4x square plus 4y square minus 24y plus 4 into 9 is here 36 Here thirty six. Okay. Then in next step, I write this as okay. Uh, now we consider each part of uh, the LHS in RHS. Okay. Uh, here firstly I write uh, RHS. Okay. So four x square plus four y square minus twenty four y plus thirty six. Then. Here this plus x square as minus x square. Next minus 4x as plus 4x. Then this plus 4 as here minus 4. Then plus y square as minus y square, and this is equal to zero. Remember we consider here each part of LHS in RHS. Okay. So uh, here in next step we know 4x square minus x square. Is here three x square plus then four y square minus y square is three y square. Then here uh, plus four x. Here we have plus four x only. Plus four x only. Okay. So here plus four x. Next here minus twenty four y. And in last year constant is thirty six minus four year is thirty two and this is equal to zero and this is the required equation of the locus. Okay, so here I write this is required equation of locus. of locus okay so very interesting example it is now we go with third example let's go with third one here in third given if if a of 4 1 and b of Five four. Find the equation of locus. The equation of locus. Locus of point P. Of point P. If. If. Given P A square is equal to three P B square, three P B square. Okay. Again, by using the distance formula, we find the equation of the locus. Let us consider uh, the point on the locus. Let P of x y be any point on the required locus. Okay. Now we go with given things. Here given, here given, P A square is equal to three P B square. Okay. Now by using distance formula, here I write this P A as uh, everyone see here. Here uh, x minus A. A is having coordinates four one, so x minus four bracket square plus. Y minus one bracket square and sorry, square root of this one and this bracket square. 
नेक्स्ट यर इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट इन साइड द स्क्वेर रूट टी बी स्क्वेर मीन्स हियर एक्स माइनस कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ बी आर यर फाइव फोर सो एक्स माइनस फाइव ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर प्लस y माइनस फोर ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर एंड दिस होल ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर ओके सो हियर वी गेट ओनली x माइनस फोर ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर प्लस y माइनस वन ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर सिंस वी नो हियर स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ दिस ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर इज हियर x माइनस वन फोर स्क्वायर प्लस y माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट हियर x माइनस फाइव ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर प्लस y minus 4 bracket square okay now we consider expansion of x minus 1 bracket square here is x square minus 8x plus we know 4 square is 16 plus then y minus 1 bracket square is y square minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 3 into bracket Here expansion of x minus 5 bracket square is x square minus 10x plus 25 plus in next expansion of y minus 4 bracket square here is y square minus 8y plus 4 square is 16. This bracket is complete. Okay, now we multiply this bracket by 3. Okay, so here RHS, LHS as it is, x square. Firstly, we have x, x square, then we consider y square. Next, we consider minus 8x. In next, here 2y, that is minus 2y. And we know 16 plus 1 is 70. This is equal to, we multiply this bracket by 3. So, we get... 3x square minus 30x plus 75 plus then 3y square minus 24y plus we know 3 into 16 is 48. Here is 48. Okay. Then in next step, I write this as Okay, uh, we are here we consider each term in LHS in RHS. Okay, so here I write 3x square. Firstly, I write this RHS 3x square minus here 3y square, sorry, plus 3y square, 3y square. Next, here minus 30x minus 30x. Next, minus 24y. Next, we know 75 plus 48. Here, 75 plus 48 is 123. Here is 123. So, plus 123. Then, with minus sign. I write this x square in RHS as minus x square. Then, every term, for every term, we consider opposite sign. For y square, we consider minus y square. For minus 8x, we consider plus 8x. Then for minus 2y, we consider plus 2y. Then for constant, here we consider minus 70. And this is equal to 0. Okay. Then here we know 3x square minus x square is 2x square. Then 3y square minus y square is 2y square. Then minus 30x plus 8x. Here is a minus 22x. Then minus 24y plus 2y is minus 22y. Then plus 123 minus 17 plus uh, 123 minus 17. Here is uh, plus 106. Here is plus 106 and this is equal to 0. Okay. Now, uh, here from this LHS, we consider two as common. So, inside the bracket, x square plus y square minus 11x minus 11y plus here 53 and this is equal to 0. And lastly, here we get x square plus y square minus 11x minus 11y 
plus 53 is equal to 0 and this is the required required equation of locus equation of locus okay so very interesting part it is very ex interesting example okay again so here we use the distance formula to find the equation of the locus let's go with our last example here in the last given in fourth if if a of 1 6 b of 3 5 find the equation of locus equation of locus of point p such that such that segment a b subtends subtends right angle right angle at p subtend right angle at p okay again uh, we have to find the equation of the locus okay again and to find this here given condition is here uh, given segment a b subtends right angle at p okay let us consider the point on the locus first let p of x y be any point on the locus then we consider two points a and b okay let us consider the segment a b to define the equation or to find the equation of the locus here we define the uh, segment a b okay this is our segment a b okay this segment a b subtends uh, right angle at p subtends right angle at p okay so uh, here we consider point p we consider point p okay here is our point p and this point here is at point p we have a right angle so we get here triangle apb and is right angle triangle okay so here given given major of angle apb is equal to 90 degree here is 90 degree okay so i write here hence triangle a p b is a right angled triangle is a right angled triangle okay since it is right angled triangle here we use the pythagoras theorem to find the equation of the locus so by pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem here I write this as uh, a p square plus p b square is equal to a b square and using the same relation we find equation of the locus okay firstly uh, I write uh, for this a p again by using the distance formula here I write this a p as inside the square root here x minus here coordinates of point a are 1 6 so x minus 1 bracket square plus y minus 6 bracket square and this whole bracket square next here for p b again in the second bracket we consider square root okay here x minus coordinates of point b are 3 5 so x minus 3 square plus y minus 5 bracket square and this whole bracket square is equal to 
then here for uh, rhs that is for ab again we consider the square root in that uh, we know coordinates of point a and b so here i write uh, 3 minus 1 bracket square plus 5 minus 6 bracket square and this whole bracket square okay so this is by using the distance formula now we go with our next step uh, we know square root of this bracket square is here x minus 1 bracket square plus y minus 6 bracket square plus similarly for second square root of this square is here x minus 3 bracket square plus y minus 5 this bracket square is equal to then here in RHS again we get 3 minus 1 bracket square plus here 5 minus 6 bracket square okay therefore now here we consider expansion of x minus 1 bracket square here expansion for this is x square minus 2x plus 1 plus expansion of second that is y minus 6 bracket square is y square minus 12y plus 36 plus then expansion of x minus 3 bracket square is your x square minus 6x plus 9 and in last expansion of y minus 5 bracket square is your y square minus 10y plus 25 and is equal to here we know 3 minus 1 is 2 2 square is 4 plus 5 minus 6 is a minus 1 minus 1 square is plus 1 okay then in next step here we know x square plus x square is 2x square then y square plus y square is 2y square then minus 2x minus 6x is a minus 8x then uh, here minus 12y minus 10y is a minus 22y then here uh, 36 plus 1 is a 37 37 plus 9 is a 46 46 plus 25 here 46 plus 25 is 71 46 plus 25 is 71 and this is equal to 5 and in last here we get 2x square plus 2y square minus 8x minus 22y then plus here 71 minus 5 is equal to 0 okay therefore here we get 2x square plus 2y square minus 8x minus 22y we know 71 minus 5 is 66 so plus 66 is equal to 0 and in last here we get x square plus y square minus 4x minus 11y plus 33 is equal to 0 and this is the required equation of the locus okay this is required equation of locus okay so in today's lecture we see the definition of the locus then we see some important examples related with the part locus we see total four example to define this concept okay uh, thank you